Fresno State football team certainly gave fans a reason to believe it's going to be an exciting season as they were sent home with a comforting feeling of satisfaction. The Bulldogs defeated two-time defending Big East champion Cincinnati 28-14 Saturday night in the season home opener. Fresno State gave the Bearcats a dose of their own medicine as they redeemed themselves after a close but tough loss they endured just last season. The Bulldogs showed no mercy to the BCS conference team as they showcased themselves in front of a crowd of over 37,000, including the national audience that watched the game while it was broadcasted on ESPN2. However, the game didn't necessarily start out as nicely as it ended. The slow starting offense had fans sitting restless during the first 20 minutes of the game as they were down 14-0 and quarterback Ryan Colburn completed only one of four passes with an interception. We didn't know a lot about these guys, to be honest. I mean, they were a team that we did not have a lot of film on. Uh, they had a lot of new players and a whole new coaching staff. I mean, we had not a lot to go off of. So the beginning of the game was really a feeling out process. The momentum quickly changed during the second quarter when defensive tackle Logan Harrell brought down Bearcats quarterback Zach Caleros with the first Fresno State sack of the night. The Bulldogs offense then fueled the newly sparked fire with a four-play drive covering 49 yards and ended with Colburn's first touchdown pass of the night. It began with an 18-yard slant to receiver Jalen Saunders, followed by the 20-yard pass from Colburn to Robbie Rouse that put the Bulldogs on the board for the first time. We made some big plays, and uh, it was a big play offense tonight instead of the typical grind it out. I had no idea going into this game it was going to be a 14-14 game at halftime. It was completely different than I anticipated this game to be. The way our defense played, it gave us a chance offensively to get back into the football game. Fresno State's defense continued to put pressure on Caleros, forcing him to chaotically scramble around while looking for an opening. Senior Chris Carter took advantage of the rattled quarterback as he sacked and forced a fumble out of him, which was then recovered by the Bulldogs at the Bearcats' 42-yard line. With a 26-yard pass completed to Vince Pasco, Colburn then found Jamel Hamler in the end zone for a 16-yard touchdown to tie the game. After the half, Colburn and his offense came out continuing their momentum as they started off the third quarter with four complete passes and a few runs by Robbie Rouse. Colburn then connected with senior wideout Devin Wiley in the end zone for a 28-yard touchdown, bringing the Bulldogs to a 21-14 lead. By the time the fourth quarter rolled around, Fresno State was ready to put the nail in the coffin. Colburn found Rashad Evans on a 59-yard touchdown pass on the first play that put the Bulldogs ahead 28-14. Fresno State then followed with an explosive defensive series with three sacks in a row that ended any chance the Bearcats had to make a comeback. The Bulldogs finished the night with eight sacks, a huge improvement from last season's total of 11. Polaris was a good running quarterback that ran all over some teams in the Big East. We were able to contain, and that was, that was all important stuff tonight. I, I thought defensively, uh, I, I couldn't ask for a better performance out of the defense. I thought they played their hearts out tonight. Fresno State will have a much-deserved week off to prepare for its next opponent, Utah State. On September 18th, the Bulldogs will travel to Logan, Utah to take on the Aggies in the first conference game of the season. For The Collegian Online, I'm Megan Morales.